Hello and welcome to my latest video. Uh, this is not so much aimed at the people who regularly look at my videos, this is aimed at a very specific target and that is those people who own or are contemplating owning a cafe or a restaurant. Uh, and furthermore, uh, those people who may be intending to have quite good coffee and then use these things when it comes to making tea. Now, it simply won't do. Yeah. If you're planning to use tea bags in your cafe, or if you do use tea bags in your cafe, then you're a thief, or a fool, or a charlatan. Possibly all three. There is absolutely no valid reason for using tea bags, and there's many, many valid reasons to not use them. Uh, now, look, let me handle some of the silly objections that you've probably convinced yourself are true. Um, firstly, let's look at profit margin. Uh, I looked at the wholesale price of uh, sufficient tea to make a cup versus the wholesale price of a tea bag. Uh, and quite frankly, on a straight cup of black tea, your profit margin, your gross profit margin, so not including your labour or anything else, just straight ingredient cost, is about 98% on a tea bag and about 97.5% on loose leaf tea. Not a big difference. In fact, if you were to increase the value of your cup of tea by a few cents, you'd actually make more money. And you certainly could increase it if you're offering better tea. So the idea that loose leaf tea will somehow eat into your profits is stupidity. Uh, if you look at it another way, given the price I just gave you, if you sell one extra cup of tea uh, per hundred, so if your sales of tea go up 1%, you'll actually make more uh, money. So let's get rid of that complete uh, furphy, great Australian saying, uh, it is not significantly or even noticeably more important to offer your customers good quality loose leaf tea as opposed to tea bags. Look, this is a supermarket tea. I bought it at the supermarket. The same tea is available in bags. Uh, it's 250 grams. It didn't cost me very much. When I open the box, it'd be nice if I had scissors, but I don't. I can buy a $2 jar down at my local um, cheapy shop. Uh, it's got a nice big wide lid. I can put my own label on it. Pour it in there. Now 250 grams will do 125 cups of tea. To be honest, this isn't the greatest tea in the world, but it's a hell of a lot better than anything you're going to find in the tea bags. So there you go. So it costs you virtually nothing and it takes you a few seconds. Now the other bit of absolute nonsense that I hear from people who try to justify uh, ripping their clients off by dangling a insipid tea bag in a uh, glass of hot water and suggesting that that's good enough uh, is the mess. Oh, it's really messy to use loose leaf tea. And you know what? It can be. So if you want to go down the having a nice teapot with some nice cups, and, okay, with this you're going to have to use a strainer. You're going to have to go to all the trouble of emptying out those tea leaves. And uh, apparently that might be too much work. So let's actually look at a couple of options here. Um, one is this. This is in common use across uh, cafes. Uh, it's a, what I call a lobster. Very, very simple. Duck it in. Uh, you want about half full. Put it in a damn mug. We'll use that one. Pour some hot water in it. And as long as you leave that alone for the next minute and a half, it's a cup of tea. Uh, gee, that wasn't hard. Didn't look hard at all to me. So, what are you going to do to uh, do your cleaning? You're going to wash the cup exactly as you would have had coffee or a stinking tea bag. Uh, you don't have to throw the tea bag away, so you're obviously one ahead. And all you do with this is put it over the bin and bang, in it goes. I'm actually going to put it back in because that's a dangerous tea and I'm going to enjoy that after I turn my video off. Okay, in fact, if you're going to use an infuser, why not actually do something a bit different? Have a look at this. We've got a fairly plain ordinary teacup. 
Now look, there's nothing wrong with using lovely little china cups like that in a tea shop, but often it isn't practical, they do need to be hand washed. This is a fairly standard one, bought from a sort of a household discounter. Very simple, very similar to a lot of commercial ones. What I've got here is another little infuser, but this one's got a bit of a twist, in that it's hilarious. Fill up the bottom of the bag, a little bit of this, uh, this supermarket tea, Clamp it on like so, and it floats in the tea. And there we go. Can't tell me that's not a novel way of uh, presenting a tea. Now, of course, you may have uh, large parties of people in, or you may have be in a situation where you're doing a lot of tea. Uh, and that's one of the things I hear in hotels. I guess well, we we can't make loose leaf tea because. We, you know, we've got to use the tea bags because we make so many. Well, that's bollocks. So, this I bought from a second-hand shop. It's an old cafe unit. It's from about the 1960s. Uh, it cost me five dollars. There are a dozen of them there. And the way this works is large receptacle for tea. Little stand. All these bits come apart, slip in your dishwasher, go back together in seconds. And what happens is you fill this basket with tea. Put it in there, put tea in there, close that there, fill that with water fairly slowly so it doesn't bubble up over you, close it down and what you have there is um, 9 to 12 cups of tea and what you find is that once you've decanted the top 30%, 25% maybe, um, the rest of the tea stays hot but does not over brew. So as far as uh, somewhere where you continually maybe Recharging tea, maybe on a, a buffet at a hotel. Marvellous little device. Now you can get a million teapots that have got infusers built into them. I use them quite regularly. There is literally an inexhaustible uh, methods of, uh, of making good quality tea for your customers. So uh, I say again, you really, really need to be across this. Now, I have a mobile phone and I use an application called Foursquare. And as soon as I walk in, I can check what people are saying about a place and it's tea. And uh, so I don't even have to go in and ask questions and say, what have you got behind the counter? Can I have a look at your tea? I can be walking past and I can find out that you've got good quality loose leaf tea or that I can just keep on walking and uh, visit your competitors. So I'll leave you to uh, brew on that. I'll enjoy my daintry. I'll pop the duck on its pond. And see you next time.